So today we are going to install the sludge keyless entry lock. Uh, it's a simple process. Uh, you would probably find many videos how to install this. Uh, but what I'm going to show is uh, not about how to install this. I'm going to show how we can turn this uh, uh, lock into uh, automatically locking. Uh, so you normally when you lock the door, so you can't open again. So because this, uh, I'm putting this into a rental unit. So um, typically, what have, uh, once you lock and you can turn, leave it in the lock or unlock position on uh, from this one by locking this or unlocking. So this goes between the door and then the, this piece. This goes in over here. So when you turn this one in, so this switch over here, right now, so this shows okay, it, it want to be unlocked. So and then it's, sorry, it, this is locked. So when you turn onto this one, then it triggers, leave it unlocked. So, um, so if you leave it at this point, so that way, either you can leave it like this, so it automatically it locks, when you close shut down shut the door so you can only punch in either you can open from this side or you can punch in the code and open it but then if somebody leave this if somebody leaves this at this position and if the power is going through the switch then it bypasses so um, at that point, anybody can open. If it's even from outside, you can open without putting the number. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, we're going to take this piece out. So that way, this is this will be a dummy, and nobody can actually turn anything because we, once you take this out, so it will be automatically. So you can pull this one out by. And use a tool. This slowly, yeah, pull this slowly out. Can use the plier. Yeah. And this, because I already removed it before, so just to demonstrate, I put it back. But this will be on the other side. This will be holding. This will be tight in originally when it comes so you had to pry with this you can pry it with a flat screwdriver this washer this lock washer if you pry it it will come out and then you can take this piece out so now now once you install because there's no way that you can put it into this mode always whenever from outside whenever it's locked you had to put the uh, number to open so that way it automatically whenever the door is closed it automatically closes when somebody closes and goes out they don't they don't have to worry about if it's locked or not so it's automatically locked um, because from inside nobody can leave this one in a open position because this will be this will not do anything this this will be just a dummy um, so that's one way that you can uh, use this as a self or self locking uh, lock so i'm going to install it and then i'll show you how it works so i'm going to demonstrate this is halfway installed without back part installed so you can i can demonstrate how uh, you, when you override how it's working so right now you can you cannot open from outside until you put the code um, now you can open so typically when you have the lock so when you have that spinning part uh, overriding the lock so that holds down this way so when that holds down so you can open from outside so now because we took that piece out now there's no way to keep that one down so no one can open from outside once it's locked the only way to open is put the number so so i'm going to put my number 
Okay, so now you can open from outside. So once it's closed, so you can open the door. So so this way it's always automatically closed. So nobody can nobody can turn it and leave it in an unlocked position and forget and then uh, the door can be open from the outside. Okay, so now it's once it's locked, you can see it's this this is nothing. It's a dummy now. You can't leave it on the lock or unlock portion. It's always locked. And then when it's open, once you close, so you can't open. Like you have to put the number. So if it's closed. So automatically closes and then you can open from inside the lever and you can't leave it unlocked portion for the outside.